Um, in terms of adapting the story, uh, what were the challenges in terms of condensing it and while still like remaining true to the overall arc of the story? Um, yeah, it, it's always, that's the question, isn't it? It's always, um, with any true story, it's, it's going to inevitably go through some kind of transformation in order to become an entertaining and moving piece of cinema. But that said, I take very seriously the responsibility of holding the spirit of the story, of keeping that intact, and and allowing the audience to experience. <laughs> it's Jessica Chastain what? sneezing. I Adorable. Was so hard not to sneeze. <laughs> Sorry about that. Good <laughs> that was. Please continue. No, I'm done. I've been profoundly upstaged <laughs> by this amazing act. <laughs> Was that because you were allergic to the animals? Were, were you no, <laughs> it's the opposite. She's them. drawn to them, and they to her like a magnet. That's amazing. Well, I was gonna. I have to ask about them because there's one scene where you have the little lion cub. I think it is. And I mean, is there? Are they totally docile, or was there any like danger there in, in those situations? Yeah. If you um, don't try to force an animal to do something against its will, uh, if they're tired and they want to sleep, you should let them sleep. If they're hungry, let them eat. Um, you know, then it, it was great working with them. Nikki created an environment where she just wanted to film them um, behaving the way they would naturally, and. So I had some time with them before we ever got on camera together so they could just get used to me and, um, and know that I wasn't going to impose my will onto them at all, that they were safe. And I think um, you see that in the film. And what were the challenges for you just kind of like living with this character day to day emotionally and also like remaining true to who the, the actual woman was? You know, it's, it was a very dark time in history, and usually when you play, um, you're in stories like this, you go home and it's just, it's, it's so heavy on your heart. But I'll tell you, playing a character who leads with love and leads with compassion and kindness, it actually brought great joy to my life, and I was sad to say goodbye to Antonina at the end of filming. Um, no matter, it, it's a lesson, and no matter what darkness surrounds you, it's all about what you have here and what you're projecting into the world. And uh, I found filming this movie very joyful and, and happy and healing. I read that you were just in Warsaw with the film. Yeah. What was that experience like? Um, I don't think I'm ever going to have another filmmaking experience like it. To, to take this story home to the Polish, it, it's, it's their story in many ways, um, was uniquely satisfying and they, they, they loved it so much and they loved the fact that Jessica was there. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, it's hard not to think about themes today where this movie resonates, so when we're thinking about refugees and that kind of thing, do you feel like it works on that additional level? Absolutely. Mm, totally, horrifyingly so. It's it's actually when what began as a as a a historical drama has actually become a contemporary film, a contemporary story. Good morning. Enjoy yourselves today. Jews out of their homes. They're taking us all to the ghetto. Thousands of people are dying. The littlest of children. We have room. We could hide them. Bring as many as you can. All the terrible time you must have had. German troops come every morning. You can't make a sound. <laughs> Mama? Have you been keeping secrets from me? 
No one knows how hard it is. You can never tell who your enemies are. Or how to trust. That's why I love animals so much. You look in their eyes, and you know exactly what's in their hearts. What have you been up to in your little zoo?